Hello everyone, as most of you already know, I really enjoy crafting in Final Fantasy XIV and Dragon Quest have really really great crafting as well. Can can argue that it's almost better than FF14 because there is a lot of thoughts put into it. Now you, when you go to a camping site, you can use your fun size force to craft things. You can craft accessories, weapon and armor. And you also can re rework an item, meaning that you can work on it to improve the stats of it, make it higher quality. So let's forge a new item. I just want to show you an overview of how it works. Rings. So you put the materials in. The recipes you unlock by finding them throughout the, your adventure. So if you don't have the recipe, you can't make anything. There is also focus points. Without focus points you can't use any crafting ability. So it kinda works like CP in FF14. Once you're out of focus points you can't... That's it. You can't continue. You have to finish your craft. You if, and the goal is, you see these bars on the left and right. It's to... The perfect thing to do is get them to where the arrow is in the middle of the green, green area. That means you have done it perfectly. So you can use different type of abilities to try to get there. But as long as you get to the green zone, you won't fail the craft. But if you get to the exactly the arrow, you will do it perfectly. Meaning you will get higher stats on it. It will become higher quality. So let's do few things. Like... Uh, normal bash. As you can see, you have a temperature. The higher the temperature, the, hi the higher the bash will do. And you have flourishes. So far, I've unlocked these abilities that do different things. For example, double wall, Muami, it strikes twice. If you use this, you save more focus points. Let's do the other side for now. As you can see, I just reached the perfect. If it becomes orange, that means you got to the perfect spot. We can use lightning for the other side. To feel it a bit slower to try to get... Okay, we did it perfect. Now, you can appraise it to see if it's looking good. Turn out brilliant, believe brilliantly. So because I reached the exact point, perfect point of at all sides. Finish it. I got the perfection. It's plus three. Plus three means it's three times better than normal quality. And it seems that like plus three is the maximum so far. There might be more. It might be higher later, but so far I am in the game, plus 3 is the maximum. And you get perfectionist pearls when you forge something. And perfectionist pearls are for reworking an item. If you made something and you're not happy with the result, you can rework it, but it costs perfectionist pearls. So let's have an example. Let's try rework this. Hermes hats that we got from a quest. It costs 10 perfectionist spells to rework it, but let's do it. I want to show you. As you can see, this one has four spots that you need to work on. It's a bit high, more difficult of a craft. Let's do double whammy on the higher bars uh, okay let's bash well let's do double edge double edge you bash two spots at, at once okay we can use Easily puff to increase the temperature. 
back up. For some reason it got reduced on that spot. Okay, that spot is done. Yeah, this craft seems to be really difficult. I'm already almost out of... Focus points. Yeah, I broke that part. This didn't finish out. This didn't turn out so well. So as you can see, you have to do tr you do it few times, trial and error, until you do it better. What you can do is... Yeah, this one was a failure. So the crafting is really fun. You can do different ways to try to re rework an item for better. I'm gonna do another attempt, but what you can do, if you don't want to lose your perfectionist pearls, you can save the game here, and then to retry it if you fail. So that way you don't waste... It's not like FF14 where it's a multiplayer game. This is a single player game, so you can do tricks like this. Let's rework something easier. The strength ring is like half star easier. You can see the difficulty of the rework before you start it. Rework an item and if you go to the item you see the difficulty there on the right side. Let's do this strength ring. Double whammy. Oh, it almost went to the perfect. That side went to the perfect, okay. I'm sure later on I will get abilities where you can reduce maybe some of the bar to try to get to the perfect point. But for now we don't have it. Let's finish it. Oh, it became plus three. My, now the strength ring gives lots more strength. That's awesome. So yeah, I just wanted to give you an overview of how the crafting works in Dragon Quest XI. I'm really, really enjoying the game so far and crafting is just icing on the cake. Really been enjoying the story so far. If you wanna see me do my first playthrough, then come over on Twitch. I live stream it almost every day now until I finish it. And I highly recommend this game if you're just getting it for crafting, if you enjoy crafting in games. And you don't need to have played any Dragon Quest game before, you can start with this one, it's no problem. The stories are not connected. So I highly recommend this game, especially if you love the general JRPG game. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you found this enjoyable, please like, favorite, subscribe and share the video and I will see you on the next one. I will do a lot of guides for this game and I also have a perfect walkthrough planned in the future once I learn the game more. I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye.